Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our sixth episode of our Ages of Your Earth Let's Play series. This episode we're going to talk about uh, improving our fight skill and our weapon and stances. So if you open up your skills and you can go down to fighting, you see the fighting starts you off at 10.0. And then you have these different fighting stances, aggressive, defensive, normal. Um, each one is different in the sense that it provides more damage and less chance to block. So aggressive is provides the most amount of damage, less chance to parry and block. Defensive is the least amount of damage, but greater chance to block. And the normal fighting is 50-50. Uh, in addition, you also have your specific items or skills when it comes to your weapon. So mauls is what we're going to be using. So I increased our maul uh, until we, we had to use our uh, a pelt, which we don't have, which hopefully we'll find. And I think there's an ocelot hanging around, so hopefully we can skin that and get one. And um, yeah, so I'm going to show you a trick on how to increase your your skills in in your respective um, shield or weapon and then also in your fighting stances along with your body stats of control and possibly even strength as well so what you want to do is get a low ranking uh, low ranking creature like a rooster rooster works good all you need is one of them because this is based off of time not how many times you get hit I saw a person uh, having like four roosters on them and attacking them all at the same time. But that doesn't make a difference. It's all about, uh, it's only about one because uh, your character only has a set amount of time that uh, they can block. So it can block every like five seconds or something like that. So what you want to do is get ready. Uh, you want to have your armor on. You want to be on a horse. Uh, you want to be above the creature uh, so that you have better CR um, combat rating and a uh, greater chance to uh, parry or block. So I have no no weapon equipped right here. You can see no weapon equipped. And uh, I have a my rooster here and then I have my horse in the background. I'm gonna I'm gonna activate or I'm gonna attack or target this rooster. Okay, you see now the rooster is aggroed on me and which is good. I wanna go into defensive mode. Okay, and then in, to prevent uh, my me from killing the rooster I'm going to target a different creature far away that I can't hit so I target the horse now uh, the I'm not gonna hit the rooster when I equip my large ball so I equip my large ball and now you can hear I parried it and you can see my defensive fightings going up um, every time I parry with the large maul so, and since it's a small little rooster, I'm not really taking any damage but uh, to my body, but I am taking damage to my armor. You see that? So every time I parry, my large maul goes up, which is perfect. And I think if we, uh, there's different modes that you can click on for spamming and whatnot. And there it goes. So you can really just sit here for about an hour and let this bad uh, let the bad boy rooster try to attack you as you parry and all you have to do is repair your items so they don't break and that's it man that's how easy it is so that's what we're going to be working on and now since we have a little bit in malls and you can actually do this same concept on a practice dummy up to uh fight skill 20 and uh, weapon skill 20, I believe. But what would be the fun of that? Let's go kill an ocelot. So untarget that bad boy, that bad boy rooster. And there was an ocelot hanging around here somewhere. Let's kill it and skin it. Music's perfect. Oh, there it is. You see how it's not aggroed on me? Because I'm a faux priest, that's why. Alright, so I don't know if I can take this ocelot on. But let's find out. So I'm above it. I'm a good distance away. Our, oh man, I don't know. 
Uh, at least I could heal myself with my my spells. So when you're attacking a creature with a shield, it doesn't really matter too much when you have a two-handed weapon. But when you're attacking it with a shield, you want the creature to be on the left side of your screen, specifically uh, kind of on the one third. So if you're going to split the screen by third, so one, two, three, right where the first and second uh, sectors interact or border, that's where you want to put the creature, and that will give you the greatest chance to block. Uh, but we're, we're doing pretty good here. We're uh, kicking some butt with this ocelot. Um, not really taking a whole bunch of damage. You can see I took a little bit of damage, but that is really not... I mean, that's nothing. It's not even significant. If you open up your paper doll, take a little bit of damage. Almost done, almost done. You can focus. Every time you focus, you can increase your combat rating. So, perfect. So, I killed the ocelot, and I want to butcher, so I'm going to activate my butchery knife. I'm going to right-click on him. I'm going to butcher. Hopefully, he gives us a pelt. Pelt. Oh, got a pelt, and he got meat. So, in this server, in order to get the bounty, you need to actually bury it. Let's go ahead and bury him and see how much we get back. 90 copper. Perfect. Uh, what else we got? Let's kill that cow that we saw. Oh, there's a mine right there. Great. Oh, there's a cow. You're going down, cowboy. Bull. Cow, bull. Yikes. Let's see how my skills are doing. So you want to make sure that your footing is green. Okay, which means I have an advantage, which gives me an increase in my combat rating. I'm in the right distance. To, you know, you can be too close or too far, but you want to be right in the middle. You can focus if you want to. So every time I focus, I have an increase in my combat rating. So now I have one. Um... You can focus for every 10 fight skill. So I can't go higher than that anyway, because I only have 10 fight skill. But uh we're doing pretty good here. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come out okay. I like the mall. I the mall has a better pairing rate than the huge axe. And it does almost the same it's like one point difference like huge axe has 12 points of damage and maul has 11. all right one more good hit call good no come on buddy and got it bovine master awesome so let's go ahead and butcher him. And then we're going to get ready to bury him too. Oh yeah, we'll take this stuff. And bury. We can sell that to the merchant. 15 copper. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. So great. So we killed an ocelot. And we learned how to grind our weapon skill. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for a while as I watch a... A movie or TV show and upload some videos. Hopefully my rooster's here. Oh, there he is. Let's go ahead and target the rooster and then target the horse and equip our... Yeah, this is good. And then we really just need to make sure we repair our items. Go into defensive. Uh, I go into defense because you parry a lot more and you can get more skill increase. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, figure out what we're going to do in the next episode. I'm not too sure yet.